Well, the NDA is likely to be in pole position in the state of Bihar as well, where the BJP is projected to win 13 to 15 seats. And its ally, Janta Dal United, is likely to bag 9 to 11 seats. According to India Today Access My India survey, the state has 40 Lok Sabha seats. Here's the projection. Yeah, I want to come now to the battleground state of Bihar, where questions have been asked about whether the JDU would prove to be the Kamzor Khadi in the NDA alliance. Uh, will Tejasvi Yadav be able to lead the India Alliance uh, to a good performance in Bihar? Let's try and take you through what the India Today Access My India post poll study shows. What you're seeing on your screen are the vote share numbers. The Congress predicted to back 10% of the vote share, the RJD 24, the JDU 19 and the BJP 21. Let's see how this converts into votes. Coming up on your screen now, for the first time, the India Today Access My India prediction for Bihar. 9 to 11 seats for the Janata Dal United, 13 to 15 for the Bharatiya Janata Party, the Congress between 1 and 2, and the RJD between 6 and 7. So all those who thought that there would be a big backlash or that the J JDU would prove to be the weak link, our poll suggests that's not the case. As I go across communities, whether you look at the Paswans, the Chamars, the tribals, the Yadavs, largely the NDA has the advantage. There's been a big consolidation of the Yadav votes. 82% of the Yadav votes in favor of the RJD alliance. That's up 24% from the last time. So big Yadav consolidation. Also a consolidation of the Muslim vote. 86% of the Muslims voting for the RJD alliance in Bihar. That's up 16% from the last time. But everywhere else, whether it's the Kurmis or the OBCs, the Banyas, Brahmins, Rajputs, quite naturally, Rajdeep, apart from the Muslims and the Yadas, where there is extreme, extreme consolidation, late 80s, in the other communities, you've got the NDA doing very well, and JDU hasn't proven to be the Kamzor Kari. Yes and no, Rahul, because when you look at the big picture, remember Bihar was swept by the NDA in 2019. They won 39 out of the 40 seats. Just one seat was where they lost out. And they had a huge edge of 23%. How has that changed in this exit poll? Take a look. NDA has come down marginally, 8%, substantially, let me say, to 48%. India Alliance has grown by 15%. So just as the BJP has grown in Tamil Nadu and Kerala, here you've got the India alliance going up by 15%, NDA down by 8%, others are 7%. Now look at the seats. Where does this translate into seats at the moment now? In this, NDA 29 to 33, so still dominant, but the India alliance 7 to 10. So unlike Karnataka, where the India Alliance had bad news, slightly better news coming in from the state of Bihar. It may not be translating at the moment, Rahul, into the kind of seats they may have hoped for. But 7 to 10, compared to where they were, represents a significant rise.